In lesson 108, we're going to look at factoring uh, cubed situations here. Uh, now, we are simply going to go by two different formulas. Now, these look like a lot. The FT, the cube, the ST, all that. It looks like a lot, but really all that you're doing is just plugging things in. And so I'm going to show you here, so don't get freaked out by that yet. It's actually very, very simple. No math really at all, just plugging in. Example one, it wants us to factor x cubed times y cubed minus p cubed. Now what we are going to do first is factor out the cubed. So what happens when we factor out the cubed is I'm left with x times y cubed. Because notice if I distributed it, it would be x cubed times y cubed. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just write it over here just to show you um, how this whole formula works. When you break this down, what this represents here is what's called the first thing, aka ft. This represents the second thing, aka st. So literal, literally all you're going to do is plug in that for all the thing, all the sts. Plug in this for all, plug in the xy for all the fts. So it can look like, now this overall is just, you can write this portion. First of all, we're using formula two. The only difference between these is if it's added or subtracted. This one's a subtraction problem, so we're using formula two. I can write this as x y cubed minus p cubed or I can write it as the original form, x cubed, y cubed, minus p cubed. The reason I would do it the other way is because I want to break it down, I want to factor it out to where I know what the first thing is for ft, and I know what the second thing is for st. So then when I start to plug everything in, I'm literally just going to plug everything in. So right here, the xy is going to plug into all the FTs. So XY minus ST is just P. XY squared plus XY times P, they're being multiplied, plus P squared. And this right here would be your answer. And that's literally all you do. You just plug in everything according to the two formulas. Because if I multiply these out, as I get x, uh, what would end, end up happening is I would get x cubed, y cubed, minus p cubed. Let me make sure I have my right answer here. xy minus p times x squared. Oh, my bad. I did forget to. This squared means I'm squaring uh, both of them. I did forget to do that this moment. So x squared, y squared, plus xy times p, plus p squared. And that would be my answer. That is x cubed, y cubed, minus p cubed, factored out. Let's do one more example of an addition problem and maybe something that would add a little bit along the way. <clears throat> All right. So let's look at example two, where it says to factor 8m cubed. Why? Yeah, y to the sixth plus x cubed. So positive sign or plus sign, so we know we're going to use the first formula. When we factor out the cubes, okay, because we already know we got to be in this form here, because we got to figure out the first thing and the second thing. Well, this one's easy, it's just x, it's alone. Okay, what cubed equals 8? Okay. Well, 2 cubed equals 8, so we plug that in there. Okay? And then, obviously, when all three, when it's m cubed and cubed is factored out, we're only left with m. But now let's talk about the y to the sixth. We would actually be left with, you may be thinking 3 because you subtract, but you would actually be left with a squared. Because if you remember in exponents, if you have something 
uh, if you have a variable with an exponent and it's got an exponent to it outside the parentheses, then you actually multiply the three and the two. So this would become y to the sixth. Notice y squared, y cubed, y to the sixth. So this cubed, um, or factored by the you know, cube, whatever, uh, ends up being two times m times y squared. Now we know our first thing and we know our second thing. So <clears throat> we simply start plugging into the formula. Uh, I'm going to write the left side of the original equation. So 8m cubed y to the sixth plus x cubed equals, all right, what's my first thing? My first thing is 2my squared. Second thing is x times. All right, now let's talk about this part. Let's look at that. When I have 2my squared, okay, when I have 2my squared, and it says the first thing is squared, that means the whole part of the first thing is squared. So I actually have to distribute that to all three. So 2 squared would be 4, m squared, and that would be y to the fourth. So you do have to square everything. And then you would have minus... 2my times x plus, and it's just x squared because it's a lone variable. And so from that point, you have your answer. It looks long, but really it's, it's not a complicated process as long as you know um, the formula. And that's how you do uh, factoring by cube.